Hi, Taurus. How are you doing? I hope you're having a happy holiday so far. And how was the Gemini full moon for you? I'm just going to do a short reading for you. It's going to be a three card pull. Uh, first card for the challenge and second card is going to be for what will help you. And third card is going to be for what you may not see. Okay. I'm just shuffling a couple more times. Okay. Now I'm going to split it into three. Okay. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Midheaven, and Stelliums. One, two, three. So what's the challenge in five? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Oh, cheese. The last one that I actually pulled, I'll show you in a second. The ones that fell out, Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. This is accompanied as the precursor to the challenge that I pulled out at the end, which is the Devil card. All right, I will um, tell you what I get with that in a second here. Now let's look at what could um, help through this challenge, okay? One, two, three, four, five, okay. Three ones, three ones. Mm, okay. Yep. All right. So let's look at what you might not see. One, two, three, four, five. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so yes, Taurus, I'm going to explain what I'm seeing here for you as the challenge. So the first things that fell out was the Ace of Cups. Well, actually, it was the Nine of Wands first. Then it was the Ace. This was flipped over or flipped down. I couldn't see it. And this second one was flipped up. So what I see is someone who is possibly quite possessive. Yes. Perhaps somebody is quite possessive in regards to their emotions. They're not, it's not easy for them to become vulnerable. Um, this could, because, this could be because of things that have happened in your past that has um, wired you to feel that way and to um, almost like a survival mechanism, a survival instinct, right? To just guard yourself, right? But, At the same sense, you have a desire for someone. Okay? So this could be a Capricorn. Hold on, Lulu. This could either be a Capricorn or this could be uh, just someone you feel a very deep, strong, emotional cord with. Okay? You feel very, very... Uh, almost like a, 
a karmic cord, as they would call it. It's a term. Um, there's, it's hard to just, you can't just let this person go. You feel an emotional tie to them. Okay. But it drives you nuts because you are fiercely protective over your emotions. Rightfully so. Okay. Rightfully so. It's important to be protective of yourself. However, like you don't want to block yourself off completely. Just don't let anybody walk all over you at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's probably why you're guarded is because of the fact that you've had that happen to you in the past. Um, but your solution to this or what will help you through this process of discomfort is patience. I know. <laughs> but it won't take that long. The reason why is because it's not like it's the hangman card. It's not like it's, you know, what's another one that's, yeah, it's mainly hangman card that's like the worst one or like the, like a knight of pentacles or something like that. Or I don't know. Anyways, so this is really the card of waiting for your ships to come in. But what does it take? You have to wait a little bit for them to come in, right? Because they will be coming in soon, but doesn't mean it's going to be coming up or coming up right away. You just have to wait a little bit more. Um, if you want to really, I mean, I want to get more about this, this challenge though, because that's still not really, mm, let me look at the bottom of the deck. Oh, it's the Knight of Pentacles. I was just talking about the Knight of Pentacles. Um, well, guess what? Capricorn's an earth sign. Cause, so this could really, this could really refer to a, a Capricorn then, if that's the case. There's a lot of earth here. Um, or this just could speak towards an individual that might be quite impulsive themselves. And you are trying to take things slower and more steady, but it's been difficult. But your advice, nonetheless, is to keep on being steady, okay? The best you can. Work on yourself. And so this is the ships coming in, right? But in order to do so, you have to work on your bounty. So pay attention to the number three. It's another thing I get. Okay, so. Now, what you don't see is the Page of Pentacles. You could have, okay, well. Mm, page of Pentacles, and then the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. So, hmm. This is really weird, but I'm getting this. I just, it's so random and I could be completely just this, whoever this person is, maybe, um, ask them their age. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just get that. Just ask them their age. Make sure you know how old they are. I'm going to get a page of pentacles and what you may not see. So, um, but yeah, slow and steady wins the race, but just focus on your ships, your bounty, um, number threes. Okay. Yeah. It's, this is a <laughs> interesting challenge I'm seeing here for sure. You can take however that resonates. <sighs> or, you know, like I said, it could be, um, it could just be a Capricorn and there's a potential that, I don't know, they could offer you something or maybe it's going to be like a small offer or perhaps you're going to find something out. I don't know. But this is going to be a process, right? So a process that will bring you some kind of value though, I'm getting too. You'll get value from it. Yeah, you will. 
Because then this page of pentacles, the next step from the page is the knight. And if that's at the bottom of the deck, it's an upgrade. So it signifies an upgrade. There will be an upgrade here. There will be an upgrade. So another thing too, if this is something that you're being challenged to let go of because of the fact that maybe it's been something that has triggered you in some way, right? It hasn't been, it was a toxic relationship. Maybe it was a toxic bond. Something that has been a challenge. Um, this and other messages um, focus on your next goal. So whether it's moving, um, maybe you're looking on the horizon to move to a different place. That too. Focus on threes again. Focus on your goals. Okay. And this will, something you don't see is that there's going to be a significant reward that will grow. That will upgrade. So that's another one I, I get to. Anyways, I hope you liked it, Taurus, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Peace out.